Number 21, Headed Gang CEO Shiloh Sanders in the sling. Can you give us an update? Let us know what went on, what happened. How is Shiloh Sanders doing? Yeah, on that last uh, uh, tackle, well, not the last one because he he's, he played a couple more plays after, uh, suffered a break to his forearm. Um, I was one of the guys with security that walked him in, didn't want him going back to the locker room by himself in that hostile road crowd. So walked in with him, his spiritual high man, and you know just really wanted to still be out there. But uh, the pain got to where he couldn't after a couple of plays, so he had the medical staff look at it, and, and they confirmed by feeling it that it felt like a break and did x-rays there at the facility. And uh, the break was confirmed. The good news is, you know, it ain't back in the day like me and you, Chico, where it's like six or eight weeks. Uh, he had the procedure day to put the bone back together, put the cast on it, uh, and he will be ready to play uh, week after the next. They felt like that the stitches would not be healed enough for him to play against Colorado State. Uh, but, mm. you know, he can play with the cast as the bone heals. Uh, so you got, you know, a bye week coming there. You know he'll 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 certainly be be back sooner than a typical break would, uh, particularly okay. where it's located. So he'll be be able to play. All right, nice, nice. We need the headache gang CEO back there, knocking heads off and, and dishing out headaches. You yeah, know? yeah, that cast might help with that, but the refs gonna be watching for it. Uh, <laughs> and then I tell you, I saw somebody ask about about D Dallin Hayden. I didn't was traveling back today, so I didn't go to the facility. Uh, but you had. Uh, Block bully Chidoze had a little shoulder stinger, uh, and so he came out the game. Uh, I did heard not Coach Prime, I, not to cut you off, but I heard Coach Prime say an AC joint, and it made my shoulder start hurting because that's that was the injury I had was an yeah. AC joint. I didn't, I never knew what that was until I had that injury. A damn AC joint hurt like hell. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be something that's going to have him down long as far as what was discussed there on the sideline, but certainly brought him out the game so it wouldn't get worse. And then by the end of the game, you had Harge, Isaiah Harge, and also Dallin Hayden in a precautionary walking boot. Uh, still at the same time, didn't see or hear anything that made me think they won't be participating in the next game or the game to follow, uh, but just some precautionary stuff. All right. That's what's up, man. Hey, real quick, um, you're a Dallas Cowboy fan, right? That's what you told Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. My man got his contract today, paid, and then went out there and got a big win on the road. You know, they had the Browns favored. And uh, you see, you see, Vegas don't be knowing what they're talking about. Put up thirty on their ass. Um, <laughs> got paid and, and got the dub. Got paid and got the dub against the Browns. Who and they backup quarterback is Jameis Winston, who be eating the dubs, right? And they yeah, man, Winston, you mean, man, Winston's so crazy. You gotta love him, man. It's like I want to, I want to hang out with dude, man. That dude, his motivational talks be all over the place. He, he right there from uh, uh from Bur uh, I think Bessemer, Alabama, Birmingham, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah, right outside Birmingham. But yeah, they had the I think they had the Browns favorite by seven. And and what do you got? 240 million uh that yeah, two, 240, four years. 240 so he'll, four he'll, years. He'll, he'll, he will he will more than likely retire, Cowboy. He he'll be there. So you happy with that? You happy with the with the Absolutely. bet Jerry Jones right. is taking yeah. to go with the experienced quarterback? And as he said on the Stephen A. Smith show, that experience is going to pay dividends eventually. Yeah, absolutely, man. When you put Dak stats blindly up against Patrick Mahomes stats. You can't even tell them apart. You know, um, it, it's just what he's doing out there with the team. If hell of one, and I still think he was MVP over Lamar, but that could be a little biased. But I still think he was MVP because uh, what he does for this team just got to get over the hump, man, and, and and win in the playoffs. Uh, but this 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 team is true, man. You know, you took care of Micah, took care of CD, had to take care of that. Man, he writes some checks over there, man. Uh, Jerry Jones is. Um, so I got some probably some some not so good news. I don't know if I got the picture. Let me see if I have this picture. Yeah, let me tell you about this this fool in the chat named Lil Bucket, who I don't know. He clearly know me. In he think chat? he did. Yeah, he think he dissing me, but he only helping. Like, like every time you type something, you buy me more food. Neither so <laughs> <What are> you... <laughs> <laughs> can Lil you tell healthy food part. I can tell your mama part from a cow. Excuse. Your mama moo. <laughs> <laughs> See, you thought I was gonna say the cow moo. No, Damn. your mama moo. Damn. Hey, and then you got somebody like this, Michael Judd. Chico, you play? No way. Chess team. Hey. Yes, football. Hey, no, keep, I don't keep think so. Keep, 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 keep <laughs> typing. Please keep typing.
all I can say is this, man. Put you a helmet on, put you some pads on, and please line up in front of me and say the same thing. Keep that same they don't call. They don't call him Big Dog for nothing now. Uh, hey, Big Dog. This is a ball of dog. This is for the Big Dog. Big Dog on the loose. Go hard, bite down like a saber tooth. This one ain't for the dog. This is for the Big Dog. This one ain't for the dog. This is for the Big Dog.